History Concert 2000 presented by JP Records and I have this powerful man of God with me Tim Kepler welcome Tim welcome you know it's a pleasure and an honor just to have you here on SOV tonight I'm so excited you know on the way down we were just listening to I love you Lord and I just want you to take this opportunity to maybe look into our camera at our audience and just whatever's in your spirit you want to share how you know I, I know you were enforcing right maybe for yeah maybe tell a little about your testimony for a few minutes a couple minutes okay God bless I just want to encourage people you know I was in Folsom State Penitentiary and uh, when I thought there was nothing for me God had something for me you know and I just want to encourage people out there that when it looks like all the chips are down and nothing is going your way that we serve a mighty God and that all th all things are possible through those who serve him so I just want to let you know that you can do anything if you put your mind to it if you give it to God and just believe that he's going to come through for you he will come through amen God is a deliverer you know even as you were speaking you know I had the opportunity to meet your beautiful lovely wife and I just hate to she's not here tonight because I was looking forward to interviewing both of you together but there'll be other times in Jesus name but uh, that song I love you Lord what inspired you to write that I know you love the Lord but how did that come about and maybe tell me a little bit about that please well you know um, the way that song came about was rather unusual. That melody, I love you, Lord, it stuck in my head. I'd be doing the dishes, I'd hear that melody, I'd be vacuuming the house, I'd hear the melody, I'd go to the store, I'd hear the melody. So I called up my, the musicians in my group, and I said, you guys, I got this melody in my head, and uh, I just need you guys to come down. And we went into my studio, and we just started playing, and the song came to be how it is. So I know, and so many people tell me, you know, that song, I just feel the power of the Holy Spirit in that music you know and I know that the Lord gave me that to share with his people so that song was truly um, sent to me by the power of the Holy Ghost amen and glory to God so what you doing where are you going you have a CD out uh, tell me a little bit where's the Lord leading you in that direction well we have a new CD out you know I've been trying for so long to get going in the music business and uh, I just gave it to God and uh, I went and sang at the Gospel Announcers Guild in um, Ontario and a guy heard me there from Avalon Distribution and it enabled me to start my own record company we signed a national distribution deal and so from here it's just is nowhere but up amen amen you have a copy of your CD with you I like to show our audience that but maybe we can get a shot of that in just a bit um, also you know I was just wondering about um, you know when you write songs I know what do you have to say out there? Maybe there's somebody out there hurting or, you know, maybe going through a time of uh, tribulation or, you know, there may be a young man out there. You know, I had uh, my son in prison, too. He was there for seven years. And just to maybe encourage people that you can make it, you know, a lot of times they're marked. They can't get jobs, you know, those kind of things. But God has opened a door for you to just go on with your life in Jesus' name. So maybe you want to uh, look into the camera and give us a word of encouragement and just really minister 
minister. Maybe there's somebody out there that don't know Jesus Christ as personal Lord and Savior. You want to lead him to the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, like I was saying before, just be encouraged. You know, I was in Folsom State Prison. I used to lay on my bed and I used to cry at night because I just figured there was no way for me. And I gave my life to Jesus and he truly changed my life. So I'm a living testimony that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. No matter if you're homeless. I mean, I was homeless on the streets of Riverside. I was penniless. I didn't have nothing but the clothes on my back. They kicked me out of Folsom Prison with, gate, with clothes on my back and gate money. That's all I I had and you know I started doing drugs again but I got into church I started going to Bible study I started going to choir rehearsal I used to eat in the Lord's kitchen and you know what God brought me from being homeless and penniless and broke to where I am today I live in Anaheim Hills I have my own record company my own business I have people that work for me now so I just want to tell you right now wherever you are trust in the Lord with all your heart and he will pull you up don't look to man don't look Look to woman. Don't look to your mother, your father. Look to Jesus because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. And if you give it to him, I'm telling you right now, you can't go wrong. Praise the Lord. I want to thank you so much. And ladies and gentlemen, Tim Kepler, more to come from the Black History 2000. Amen. Glory to God. great celebration as we celebrate our four parents in song. Sit back. Okay. Take that back or sit back. <laughs> Don't relax. Even though we're in a hotel, we still come to have church and pray that a message in song will be given to
Anyway, you